help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps your bank information private when shopping online. Get $5 right now to try the service at PluckHitsLive.com slash privacy. Hello, Internet. I'm Scott with Plug Hits Live, part of the Tech Podcast Network. We are here at CES 2019 at the uh, Z-Wave Alliance booth. We are here with AOTech and we are surrounded by smart home devices. We'll find out about those in a moment. But first, go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Hello, thank you. Daniel from AOTech, CEO of the company. Okay. And uh, tell me about the company and what we've got behind us. AOTech is, uh, let's say, a pioneer in the Z-Wave space. We've been here for 13 years. In IoT, 13 years is heritage. Um, so Great. we're a bit of a heritage company at only 13 years of age. Um, AOTech's unique. We have a, a very big portfolio of devices. We engineer in Germany. There's 44 devices that we make. Uh, everything's done in-house. What we don't do is a gateway. We help other people build their solutions. Great. So you get some very universal tools. Um, Lots of multi sensors, lots of multi in one functional devices. Okay, and and that's one of the things about about Z Wave, right? Is that you don't you oftentimes don't need any kind of a gateway or anything like that because all the devices talk directly to each other. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's a it's a different standard where the certification uh, stringency on us as a maker is every device has to work with every other device, even if it's a competitor. So as an end buyer, you're sure that what you're getting is a product that, that just works. You know, it's uh, the good old proverb, the good old sales pitch, but here yeah. it's actually true. Right. And, and it's why I've always been, since my first CES, I've been a, a fan of Z-Wave is because it makes it, you know, if there's a product that you don't make, it means I don't have to have another app, another thing to, to control one product in my home. Yeah, that's a lot of pain for end consumers. This idea that, oh, I want this new doorbell. I need a new hub. I've got a new Wi-Fi connection. Do things talk. Here, yes, you just need that little Z-Wave logo and you don't have to worry about anything else behind it. You just got to like the aesthetic, the feature set, the company, that kind of thing. If it says Z-Wave, it works. And, and the more devices you have, the better the network gets without having to do anything special. Yeah, exactly. You know, there is that little advantage, which is an advantage for the consumer and also for us as a maker, because you know, you've like, oh, I want something else in the house. It gets better and you're, you're more likely to come back. There's a strength of network that you will appreciate. For sure. Now, tell me about what we've got behind us here, what you're showing off today. Well, we have 44 devices okay, so um, and you don't have a lifetime to spend with me because we're at CS and there's, you know, flying cars and all sorts of fancy things to see. <laughs> So uh, if I had to hone in one thing, it would be our dual window sensor seven. Okay. Um, this is a new it's, device. It's kind of a surprising product to, to focus in on because it seems like the mousetrap. How do you build a better mousetrap? Yeah, that's really fair. You know, dual window sensors are probably the first product we made 13 years ago. Right. Uh, everyone has one. There must be a hundred Z-Wave sensors. So yeah, that's fair. How do you iterate on something that seems tried and tested? And it's probably the oldest piece of IT. Security right. systems well before internet connections had this magnetic contact closure. Right. So fair question, what's the magic in it? <laughs> Um, and with this guy, the magic is a patented algorithm that we've developed in-house. Uh, we call it the spatial awareness, uh, sorry, spatial intrusion okay. uh, algorithm. And it focuses on something that a door window sensor traditionally doesn't do. A door window sensor traditionally worries about has someone opened a door or a window. That is at the time of intrusion, the person's already in your house, the, the door is open. Right. The, the two magnets have broken from each other and that's that's the game. Yep, exactly. Your house is open a minute, whatever it is, the event has occurred. Uh, using some extra sensors that we've built in there and this algorithm, we've created a way to look at pre-entry events. Okay. When someone kicks in your door, breaks a window, there's an amount of force that's applied to the object. We're capturing that, running it through the algorithm and pushing back to the gateway that someone's trying to break into a residence, office, whatever it is. At that stage, using the power of you know, IoT, of Z-Wave, we can trigger other devices to activate. So okay. we're looking at uh, setting off lights. So if you've got security cameras, they're in better quality. Sending notifications to the homeowner, someone's outside trying to get in. Uh, setting off outdoor sirens, indoor sirens, all manner of alerts um, th that will notify you and the intruder to you know go somewhere else. Okay. This isn't the house to break into, or this isn't the office to break into. Sure. So it's an upgrade to a dual window sensor. We're not looking for something that's occurred. 
we're trying to predict when something's occurring and going to occur. And that's, that's the magic. That's okay. why another door window sensor and not any of the other 44 devices I could tell you about. Oh, it's a six in one. No, that's, that's the magic this year. Okay. Okay. So you have built a better mousetrap. <laughs> well, I hope so. You know, the thief trap, let's call sure. it. Yeah. 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 That's, that's great. And what's the availability on this? So this guy is finished. He's certified. He'll be out in market for March. Okay. Um, so yeah. There's a, there's a production run to do. That's all happening now. Okay. We look at shipments. You'll get them him in March in retail. Very cool. And if people want more information about this product and the rest of your lineup, how can they do that? AOTech.com. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. No, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Absolutely. For continuing CES 2019 coverage, stay tuned to plughitslive.com slash CES.